and para. In order to achieve a better cutting effect, it's necessary to adjust the output power. So, how do we judge whether the laser power is suitable? Today, this video will tell you. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. Generally, we can judge by two methods. Number one, observe the section condition after cutting. Number two, observe the spark condition during the cutting process. Let's talk about the first. Taking the most common carbon steel as an example, when the laser power is suitable, the whip marks on the cutting surface are relatively fine. We can see the picture over here. The distance between the wave marks is relatively small, and the lower part of the cutting surface is slightly lagged relative to the cutting direction. When the laser power is too large, the wave marks on the cutting surface will be straight up and down, and the spacing between the wave marks will also become larger. A reference picture is here. When the laser power is too small, the lower part of the cutting surface will become very rough, with a lot of slides and difficult to remove. If the output power is further reduced, the material will not be cut through. Here, please note it, when other parameters are not set properly, the above conditions could happen. Don't misunderstand me. The above cases should be in the premise which all other factors and parameters are quite suitable and we size the power only today. I'd like to show you a video next. Please judge whether the power for the plate is suitable. Could you reply the question now? Actually, it's 2000 watt for 20 millimeter, which is the maximum cutting capacity. So I think we should say the power is a little smaller for such thickness. The second situation is the cutting spark situation. The spark sputtered and the cutting material is affected by the fluidity of the molten metal in the slide. So to a certain extent, it can reflect whether the laser power is appropriate. If the spark is straight and slightly behind the direction of cut travel, the laser power is appropriate. We can see it much clearly from the next two pictures. If the spark exhibits a diffuse appearance or is a height of the cutting travel direction, the surface laser power is not set properly. We can see it much clearer from the next two pictures. Next, I will show you a short video to show you the cutting spark. I have made it slower. If you need to improve the processing capacity, we can do it by increasing the laser output power, that is to set the parameters. Up here, a video size the power sighting theory. Please click it to get more. Of course, 
If our machine's maximum power is 1000 watt, we can expect it to cap carbon steel plates with a thickness of 20 mm, right? At this time, consider upgrading the machine or replace it with a high power one. Commonly, there are three conditions asking us to increase the output power. First, the cutting speed is too slow and we want to speed up the cutting speed. For example, cut a 5 mm carbon steel plate with oxygen by 1000 watt, 2000 watt and 3000 watt. The speed is 1.4 m, 1.8 m, 2.5 m respectively. Second, the mental plate is thicker than our expectation. For example, when cutting carbon steel plates, in the case of extreme cutting, 1000 watt can cut 12 mm, 2000 watt for 20 mm, and 3000 watt can cut 25 mm. Third, Cutting high reflective materials such as gold, silver, copper, and aluminum. For example, in the case of extreme cutting, a 3000 watt can cut carbon steel with a thickness of 25 mm, but it can only cut aluminum with a thickness of 8 mm. If we want to cut aluminum with the same thickness of 25 mm, it's necessary to increase the power to 8000 watt or more. Could you get some useful information from today's video? I'm Clara, thank you for joining me here today. Recently, a lot of friends are sharing their stories with the lasers. It's super happy for me to know your guys. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.